tribute by widow. Blessed are those whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the law of their God. He is the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He remains faithful forever. Psalm 146, 5 to 6, from the NIV version. 14 years ago, I had the opportunity of being the wife of the wonderful God-fearing, loving, hard-working, selfless, and kind man. Pastor Jonathan Kofi, whose mouth remains lie before us. His in-depth knowledge in God's word made him unique and admirable. He was a gift for mankind, most especially uh, for me. The Lord bless us with five children and our only boy shares the same birthday with him. These and many more are the memories we have of him, which will never be erased from my heart. He affectionately called me a BMO in my dialect. He was a noble husband, showed great care and love to me. He often sang a song his father taught him and lived to the lyrics of the sun. Yeah, wait you, my hurry, hurry, so ara. Fawa wants in ye na ye. Yeah, wait you, my hurry, hurry, so ara. Fawa wants in ye na ye. A kaka crana de asa. One yet you ma wo a de semu. Ya wet you ma hare hare so ara. Awa wants Indeed, he served the Lord with all his strength. My beloved had such passion for studying God's word and revealing the mysteries in it that he imparted same to me and the kids. So although he is no more with us, he has left me with a great treasure. He emphasized the need to study, to show yourself approved unto God. A workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. He did not only care for me and our kids, 
but showed great interest in the affairs of my parents and siblings. He supported me. He supported my dreams and put great confidence in me. Carry me on to climb the educational ladder to a desirable height. He shared his pulpit with me and considered me as a co worker in the Lord's vineyard. He enjoyed my sermons was always willing, always willing, always willing to give me more opportunities to preach. Who will I play Mr. Mambo a Sunday school game with? And the highs and seek way. This time. This time you are hidden forever and cannot be found. Anywhere in the house. You left a great vacuum that cannot be filled. My husband's departure is so sudden to me. Ah. So painful and so hard to believe. But it's real, it's real, it's real. I cannot. I cannot question his maker, for he knows best and has decided to call him to rest from his labor. The children and I Hold on to the core values of Christianity, which he instilled in us to live a fulfilled life for our maker. I know, I know, I know one day, one day, I know one day, I shall see him again in glory because of the assurance we have in Christ. May my sweet and dearest rest in perfect peace. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows grow. and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Psalm 34 verse 18. Losing our father is one of the difficult things we have gone through. Standing here today, 
We realize how fortunate we were to have him to have had him as a father. There are no good enough words to express the influence he had on our lives. His ever ready attitude and warmth attracted many people to him. Our daddy was an incredible man. He provided for his family and gave us, his children, the guidance we needed. Daddy truly loved his family and was deeply devoted to God and his word. He made sure that morning devotions, all year round Bible reading and study, as well as punctuality to church and school, school were a part of us all. He was proactive, time conscious, and a disciplinarian who hated procrastination. Despite his busy shadows, that is still made time for us. He would drive us to school and pick us up after school, taught us action songs and played with us. It breaks our heart to know that daddy has left us so soon. Just a day after Father's Day and less than a week after his birthday, as usually, as usual, he stylishly wrote our Father's Day wishes on cards. Each card individual crafted with love, waiting to present them to him, but he never came back. Bernard and N Bernard and Nana Ejo Ekuba are still waiting to present their cards to him. Because, because to them, heaven is but a few distance from heaven. So they keep asking mommy, when will he return? Since that dreadful day that he departed this world to join the heavenly seed, Things have never been the same for us. Memories of the times we, spent to, we spent together, from our birth to his painful exit, linger in our minds. Indeed, nothing can erase these precious memories as they will be cherished forever. Our consolation is the fact that he lived a righteous life and he is now resting in his maker's bosom in heaven. We will continue to live according to the will and the fear of God, just as he taught us. We will make him proud of us, even as he rests peacefully with the Lord. We believe that he has been called by God for the greater reward that has, his good works have earned him. We will truly miss, you, miss Daddy. We never imagined that he would leave us so suddenly. We are certain that to Death took him away, but God knows best. His death has left a scar in our heart, but his legacy and the values he stood for will forever be incorporated in our lives. He was a true soldier of Christ. May his rest sound, may he rest soundly in the Lord. Thank you. As I'm a prophet, I come the gift of a vampire. So for young Kopong, the new young lady, Emmy Asida, Emma, and we ye.